Good morning ladies and gentlemen on Z 69 welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at playing tank destroyers. Now there is a few different way of playing tank destroyers and there are certain tank destroyers that do does well at the, at the back and of course there's certain tank destroyers that do well at the front. So tanks like this Borzik right here, I don't like the tank. I'm not a big a lover of this tank. Um, this is a kind of tank to sit at the back and snipe, uh, be an effective sniper. And there are tanks like the E3, E4, um, what other tanks? 263, Fosh, there's a load of tanks, the Hori, these are normally good for being sort of front line to second line. Like the E3 is a front line tank. It's basically a super heavy tank. But sometimes you have to think outside the box. Sometimes you're in a tank that is usually sat at the back. We're going to talk the Death Star. We're going to talk the Death Star. The next battle is the Death Star. Most players, when you play the Death Star... On the enemy team, they're, they're probably sitting there thinking, right, okay, there's a Death Star. He's going to be sat at the back of the map. Sometimes, just sometimes, it may be beneficial to your team to think outside the box and do something different. Um, and you may sort of catch the enemy off guard. So we're going to have a replay where we are in, in this tank, the Borzik, that is pretty much just uh, sniping. We're going to snipe because this is the best thing for the tank. Now, this tank is not good frontline because you are nice and juicy with HE, people will just splash HE at you. Um, I wasn't a lover of the accuracy, but you know, we, we're using the the uh, the equipment here, the, the whatever it is, that just reduces the aim time. And we're actually, because of that, we're actually gonna get quite a nice shot off on that, uh, that Annihilator there. Now, usually that would never hit, that would never, ever ever hit especially in the uh, in the Borzik so we are not looking at pushing forward just yet we are looking at just sitting at the back or sitting to the side of these tanks and just getting side shots you know we don't want to be shot and that's how that's the thing when you're driving a tank like the Borzik is just not getting shot you can see here we're getting we are spotted and as soon as we're spotted I am literally hugging this rock this rock is now my best friend it is my armor and it's my it's an extra teammate for me um and you can see we're just getting some side shots no one wants to uh to go for us because we are we're in a good position I, i've got to say because we do have this rock if they come up one side of me i could just go the other side of the rock until i know that the enemy are bleeding hit points and we can start pushing in then i will not push in i mean i know that guy was a one shot i know that the guys on the left are one shots so we're going to use this time to think okay it's a six versus four i'm on 3.2k damage now is the perfect time to uh to start pushing in and at this point in the game even if we lose hit points it's only a four is there are only four tanks left and we, we can get a nice shot on this a mil or a nice shot on this amx then it will help massively but you can see that the uh the gun depression isn't great but we do manage to uh to one shot that guy uh with he so now it is just two tanks left and as i've said like we have taken a nasty shot and we've literally just taken one shot and that's half of our hit points gone so we're just going to still use the he yet there to clear the tvp now i kind of mess up this last shot you know it's an amx 1390 not the best of armors and especially with he um but i do mess up by not aiming my shot uh but we still managed to do 400 damage to this guy uh, i don't think we're going to manage to get the kill or, or do we we might actually get the kill i can't remember now uh, this was during a stream um actually i think we are actually going to get the kill there so uh sitting at the back done us some favors i managed to pick up five kills uh we did a pretty good job in in sniping we was an effective sniper and i used the opportunity when the enemy was low hit points i used that opportunity to push in and to to get the kills and to get a bit more damage doesn't matter if even if i didn't survive as long as i did that damage bringing them down to low enough hit points for my team then i did my job and 5k damage we get the ace i thought i did a pretty good job there now next up we're going to watch a game in the death star now we're going to play this a little bit different to how we would usually play a death star 
obviously it's not the best of maps for Death Stars. And as soon as we uh, loaded up this map, I was thinking, oh, do you know what? This was my last battle on stream the other day. And I thought it was a pretty good battle to, to end the streaming. Um, so the enemy have one medium tank. We don't have any. So pushing this left side, you don't see that that often nowadays. When you've got a team full of heavies, usually it is pushed now the right side. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to think outside the box. I am going to go to the left side. And that means if there is no one here, fair enough. At least I'd be able to sort of flank around and get the get the back of the enemy team and that is what i always try and do if i can the death star is great uh, at sniping obviously you've got the hesh you've got that massive uh, the massive alpha but if you can get around the team uh, around the enemy team then you've got more chance of of heshing these guys so we're going to literally push towards caves we know that there is a couple of guys up here i'm going to mess up this first shot unfortunately we do have the he loaded and that just hits the uh, the wall there which is so unfortunate because that i mean i had the shot i could have HE'd him for almost 1600 damage, but we mess up the first shot. Uh, but you know what? We're just going to sit here. If the team pushes to the left side, I mean, we could be in a bit of trouble, but we do have our team sort of, uh, I can't really see at the moment because we are aiming. That was a failed HE shot as well. So my guy there in a platoon, he's just, he just got, he, he's just been wrecked. So the enemy could actually push, but you know, when there is a Death Star, you you kind of get scared you do kind of get scared and you kind of think right okay i'm definitely not gonna push um and that's the thing when you're driving a tank like the death star like do something that the team that the enemy team are not expecting things like dead rail the, automatically the team is gonna assume that you're in a td position at the back of the map do something different maybe go to the middle of the map or go to the medium side of the map like I'm not saying it's always going to work. It's not always going to work. It's it's not always going to work. But sometimes, just sometimes, it may work. And if it does work, you've got this massive hesh that you could do a massive amount of damage. Now, that was a low roll. My hesh is usually, like, my RNG on hesh is usually just bad. Um, I'm usually hitting around 1,100. Uh, so, yeah, considering it could do up to 1,600 damage, I always low roll on the on the enemy team when I am using Hesh. So, we've picked ourselves up 2.2k damage at the moment. We're going to shoot uh, AP there. Not quite confident on the, uh, on the Hesh against the Yo, especially the side of the Yo. So, I thought it would be more better just to shoot him with, with AP. Now, we're just going to wait. I think the shot I have on this guy next is pr a pretty nice shot, to be fair. You can see not much weak points there, but we're just going to aim. And um, I don't even know how that hits, to be honest. With a Death Star, with the accuracy, it's not the best. So uh, I'm surprised that that hits, and I'm surprised that penetrates. Now, you can see my last two guys. There goes the AMX 50B. So it's a two versus two. Now, my last M6 Yo, he's, he's a low hit points. Now, the enemy Yo can actually take him out with two shells. Now, I've actually got time to aim at that Crown Vargas before he shoots me but unfortunately again i fail the he and at this point i'm thinking do you know what that's just that failed he has just cost us the game uh, but i've got a lot of hit points i'm not looking at rushing in at the moment we're on 4.3k damage so even though we have failed hesh like three times maybe even four we've done a pretty good job now we're going to only shoot uh, ap at that guy again we didn't want to risk shooting hesh uh, because there was no point we wanted to guarantee the pen so now the crime bargain is actually a hesh shot we could just splash him in the face uh, so that's pretty good and the yo is a one shot also so we're going to wait until we have reloaded and as soon as we are reloaded we are now going to push forward and no they can they think i'm here i don't think i'm spotted at the minute so where my yo is us both being here isn't great because them two guys can just hide and they can't really we can't really do anything so the yo makes the mistake in showing me his track and we do manage to clear him that now changes completely the game so we're on 6k damage and there is just one guy left one crown bargain left and we're just going to load up the he and we are just going to splash him in the side for the kill so we managed to get four kills there 6.2k damage and and of course, we do manage to get the ace, which is pretty nice during a, it's nice to get a, a tier 10 ace whilst you are streaming. Uh, not great low, uh, it's quite low XP to be honest, uh, but it's not too difficult to ace the, uh, the Death Star. Uh, so that just goes to show like, 
And that's what I wanted to point out. Don't always do the same thing. Don't always do the same thing, in, in, in especially in a tank like the Death Star, because people are going to expect it. Do something that people are not going to expect. Sometimes it's not going to work, and you can get absolutely ripped apart, but sometimes you can actually get massive damage because they just don't expect it. You're going to maybe sometimes get the behind of the medium tanks or as the side of heavy tanks or even behind the, the heavy tanks, and that is where the Death Star really does shine because of the Hesh. So you need to put yourself into the positions where you can actually use the Hesh. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Hope you hope it helps in a way. Go try it. Just go try it and see. let me know in the comments how you get on. I'm Midzi, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.